Alright, is this a part times part or a part times whole situation? Hopefully you said this is going to be a part times whole equals part times whole situation. Um, now, in the upper segment, it's pretty simple. The part, which is always going to be the outer part, when I say part times whole, the part is going to be 9. Um, and then the whole is going to be everything from here to here. So that'll be 9 plus 7. So when I say part times whole equals part times whole, I'm going to be doing 9 times 9 plus 7. Okay. Part times whole. Now, for this lower segment, um, I'm hoping you can see that this red tangent, uh, it's a special case, that length x is the part, but what's the whole? The whole is x as well. So when I go to do part times whole, that's going to be x times x. So what do you think I'm going to put here? I'm going to put x squared, part times whole. x times x is x squared. Well, this is just 9 times 16 equals x squared. So that tells me that x squared equals 144. What do you think I'm going to do now? To unsquare this x, I need to take the square root of both sides of the equation. Now normally this solution would have to be positive or negative because there are two solutions to this equation. Um, but since x represents a length, we will ignore the negative version as extraneous. So that's going to leave us with x equals 12. And that's the answer.